Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. You are so awesome. And that's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Free compliments at the start of these videos. Now, uh, today's video, I want to kind of summarize the dev update. It was an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, we're going to talk about the good and the bad. I'm going to focus in on the bad here in just a little bit. But I want to start and lead this off with some of the things that I'm personally excited about that they shared. And I'd love to know your thoughts on any of these as well. I'd love to do kind of a community feedback uh, video, just kind of diving into y'all's comments, especially about this one. I think this is going to be real important uh, because depending on whether you're new player or a veteran player you might have different takes on everything that was just shared in uh in today's live stream now i have that archived over on ginger prime if you want to go watch the whole thing get my reaction and discussion with the community going on with that that will be up forever so please go enjoy that um as as time permits it is a long one but it is a good one for sure but anyway i want to focus in on a couple key aspects that they talked about uh, namely raids that's a key takeaway that i love to see you guys weigh in on. They're working on them. Uh, they talked about a 10 or 20 person kind of raid, so we don't have more details. I would expect that this is gonna be coming much, much later down the road. They confirmed loadouts as well, being able to change, switch things up. I think that's gonna also be coming, it seems like a little bit later than I had hoped for, but at the end of the day, those things are something that are big key foundations. A lot of people enjoy raids. I just hope that it doesn't become the only thing to do in the game and that's why i say like whenever they do instance content which i think new world has some of the best instance content we call them oh i think the chat was calling them expo dungeons today which is great i think that's a perfect way to, to refer to them um, but with these expo dungeons they are so phenomenal they were really great pieces of content and to see them kind of learn off of those and what does it what does a raid mean in new world now i i feel like we have open world raids and i hope that that ui is able to translate into the open world and so there's a lot of things that we can kind of speculate and start to kind of wonder what that's going to be about so note that that is coming i think that's a really good confirmation but again you're welcome to weigh in as well they talked about like server transfers at the start about how right now if you're you have to log in if you're in queue and you just want to transfer and they have a lower pop server ready for you they're working on that system i think that's going to be a really good thing obviously increasing capacity obviously increasing cross server play which sounds like you know we know some of that's coming with certain pieces of content but hopefully they can continue to work on that they say and they do acknowledge they still have a long way to go that they really need to put in the effort and they are putting in the effort uh but we'll just have to wait and update you guys on that uh then they kind of go into uh we talked about like the raids let me just make sure i got my notes so i'm not losing my mind uh the loadouts like i talked about uh the roadmap now at the end of it they said that they're going to be uh, talking about the roadmap in October and that's the positive and the negative in this regard so we did not actually get a roadmap today and that's really personally disappointing to me but at the same time I'm also trying to ask myself like who was this dev update for one year celebration it felt like it was more targeted to new and returning players rather than just the veterans and that's that's a hard thing to do that's a hard thing to do. I will talk about more in the, <laughs> in, in the lot. Like if we think about this as the wins, that's the losses. They do go and acknowledge things that were interesting and some things that had me excited and some things that had me concerned on the excited part of it, talking about how, while they're leaning more into solo play, adding in, uh, you know, more options for people to do more things solo. I really hope that translates into having, you know, a level of progression, uh, a progression style system based around XP. But they also talked about more horizontal content. Um, that's one of the reasons why they're not yet ready to lay, raise a level cap or a gear score cap, but they're really looking at also filling out the world with more horizontal progression systems like the rune gym, heart gym system. And I actually really appreciate that. I'm curious to see is where some of these things go, because I, some of the things they talk about is they don't want to, they're not going to abandon the sandbox. They love the sandbox of this game. And I, I continue to hit home with this. I think they need to, I think we all need to refer to new world as a sand park MMORPG. Not a theme park, not a sandbox, but a hybrid of those. And the fact that other games like Ashes is also using that terminology, I think it just makes sense. A sand park. I think that is the future of the MMO. There's nothing wrong with the theme park curated experience, but then you can have a sandbox that opens up a lot of options, a lot of play styles for players, what if they want to participate in or not. And that just gives more players more options. So that's the terminology that I hope that they we see them adopt. So I was happy to see them kind of talk about uh, the sandbox and, and making sure that they're investing in that. 
And if they do the raids, like continue to have that UI and maybe make some open world challenging, you know, things that could really take advantage of players being able to join in all together. Lots of interesting stats in terms of quests, kills, and more. But that's where I wanted to kind of talk about some of the negatives. But if you want to hang out for that, uh, yeah, well, let's transition uh, smoothly with a, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that like button. It's a great way to help out this channel within the algorithm. If you subscribe, let me know in the comments. I can welcome you in. We also have the Epic Blue Radio podcast. We usually film live every Wednesday, but this specific week, we're actually having a delay. Uh, our guest, we have Force Gaming coming on. We're going to have to talk to him uh, as soon as all the chaos within <laughs> these crazy storms uh, dies down. So our thoughts go out to him and his family, as well as everybody who's being impacted by that right now. Um, but that being said, let's talk about the negatives. Let's talk about the losses, the um, some of the disappointments. And I think this was a missed opportunity in terms of marketing. I think when you look at the one year anniversary, Pairing this with an updated roadmap would have been a slam dunk. They spend a lot of time going in depth into the design and their thought process, which for me, I find very interesting, but that's not going to speak to everybody. It did feel that it's targeted more to new and returning players, which is a win. Like they, there's a lot of new and returning players coming back in. Let's acknowledge that is a good thing. But then I think that the missed opportunity overall, like again, open up with raids, open up with loadouts, and then finish off with an updated roadmap would have made this thing, I think really come together as a full marketing package, but as a full statement of what one year means. They do, they continue to talk about more years to come. And unfortunately we have to wait. We have to wait on any kind of details about, uh, you know, the, the, the fresh start servers. We have to wait on any details about kind of target dates that they're looking at. We still don't know if they're going to be staggering out the release itself. So I felt like going into this, the things that personally, like anybody who's been really actively following this game, didn't really learn much. There wasn't much to take away and be excited about because I felt like we've already kind of felt this information. We've already been hands on with BTR. Again, it's a it's a hard line to walk because you got totally different my mindsets. You have totally different groups who are going to get different things out of it. So I'm not, I'm not trying to deflate the group that watched this and probably was really excited about everything that they shared. That I think is a really good thing. But at the same time, like as a veteran player, like ending for me like the one thing that fixes this would be ending on a an updated roadmap in which that they could probably you know it doesn't have to be like perfect but it could be starting to be ethereal right you could say okay in year two um you know this is what we're going to start to accomplish this is what we want to look for the winter update this is what we want to look at for the uh, you know the, the spring update and them also kind of talking about how shifting the updates to be a little bit you know take a little bit more time on them in my mind hitting a three month you know kind of cycle for uh, for big content updates i think is perfectly reasonable um but we didn't learn there like i just i didn't feel like i learned that much from the event itself uh that i didn't already know and so hopefully there's something that you guys got from that hopefully there's a takeaway that you're excited about as well is this like a you know a, a you know a big loss is this a big fail i don't think so like i think this is still uh them kind of obviously learning i think that there were some really good things but man there's so much more that I think that, that we want. Number one questions, when's the update? When's the stress start servers? Clearly there's a demand. And I was hoping that this would literally be kind of a perfect time to kind of talk about that and get those details. Obviously, I guess we still have to wait and, and see. But they, he said they're going to share the roadmap with us in October. So we do understand that is going to be a picture. Uh, and hopefully they mean a bigger roadmap as opposed to like, hey, now we're in the fall update. Here's the... Here's the roadmap because we still haven't seen the leaderboards for PVE and PVP. There's still a couple of things that we're like, all right, like, you know, are, are those still coming? <laughs> Did those get delayed? Um, we'll have to ultimately wait and see. But those are my thoughts. I just wanted to sit down and put them out for you guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think I might do some more streaming as I prepare. And I'm so close to hitting mining 150, uh, trying to, you know, make as much money and make as much, uh, make as much progress so that when I do step into Brimstone Sands that I am ready to go. Thanks guys for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, but until then, take care.